Hi students of Chamberlain, uh, another tutorial for you. Um, this one is following on from the videos I did on uh, minor pentatonic scale, G minor pentatonic scale and the blue scale. Um, so this is basically uh, how to use those scales. It's all very well and good knowing the scale and saying that I can play this scale, but what do you do with it? That's the most important thing. Um, now there are several uses for scales, um, they're used for composition, for coming up with melodies. If you want a melody to sound a certain way, you'd write a tune using the notes that you know uh, within that scale. Uh, and knowing those scales and knowing um, what chords it would fit under, things like that, would, would help you come up with a, with a decent melody. The other thing um, is improvisation. Now, improvisation is a really big part of music. Um, you may notice that when you watch live performances um, of some of your favourite musicians that they might uh, be playing the song and it's recognisable but a lot of the time they, there might be variations in how they're, how they're playing it. Um, the reason how they're able to do that is because they have knowledge of their scales and they know how to uh, what notes they can get away with when they uh, kind of make up as they go along sort of thing. Um, a good example of this would be guitar solos. So um, guitar solos happen in uh, predominantly sort of rock, blues, jazz, those sort of genres of music. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to start with uh, some blues stuff. Uh, we're going to be using the scales uh, G minor, pentatonic, and the blues scale. So if you haven't seen my videos on uh, minor pentatonic, E minor pentatonic, and uh, it, G minor pentatonic and the blue scale, please go back and watch them on the channel. Um, but as a reminder, the G minor pentatonic, okay, is uh, as follows. You've got to start on the third fret on the E string, and then you're going to go to the sixth fret, then third on the next string down, fifth, third on the D string, fifth, third. To get a blue scale, all you need to do is add what they call the blue note, and the blue note uh, occurs twice in this scale. It occurs on the fourth fret of the A string and on the sixth fret of the G string. So that will make the scale sound like this. All right. Now um, that kind of had a more of a jazzy kind of sound. Um, so. Improvisation, so making it up as you go along is basically what it is. Um, now you can go on YouTube and you can look for um, minor pentatonic or, or G minor backing track and you'll be able to use your G minor pentatonic and blues scale to make up your solo. So I'm going to leave a link to one in the description below. Um, there's one I found on YouTube this morning. Um, so firstly, I'm going to give you a demonstration uh, I'm going to give you a demonstration on how I would use a G minor pentatonic or a G minor blues scale to make an improvisation. So here we go. Some of that was really sloppy, I'll give it mine. But you get the idea. So, now, the things I were doing there, obviously you're thinking you can't play those sort of things yet, perhaps, or maybe you can, I don't know. Um, I was doing things like string bending, and I was using notes outside the scale, um, 
but that's because you can break the rules, but you have to know the rules in order to break them. Um, so don't try and do anything fancy like I was trying to do that. Well, it wasn't that fancy, but you know, don't try and do anything you, know, you can't do, if that makes sense. Um, so what I would do, the way this place to start, is rather than just trying to rip into a, a solo straight away, is just to use a selection of notes, maybe one or two notes, uh, and then repeat patterns. So find a couple of notes and repeat them. So uh, I might use, for example, okay, so what I played there was just third, fifth, third on, so I'm on a Z string, sorry, third, fifth, and then third on the G, and then I went back to the fifth there. So get something like that, and then just play around with it. Okay, so you might want to play around with the timing of it. So I'll give you an example. Ooh, I've lost my internet. Uh -oh. There we go. Okay, so what I played was. Okay, now I could play with that. I could change that a little bit. Just add a couple of notes in there. Or two notes at the start. So I'm just playing around with three notes there. Uh, other things you can do is you can slide to a note. You can bend the note. Gotta make a face when you do it. So once you've got used to playing in one area on the guitar, then you can start to add some more notes. So again, don't try and run before you can walk. Try and do uh, small and simple patterns. Build up speed by using other exercises. Just try and get an idea of how the scale sounds and how it fits over the music. So I'll give you an example. I'm gonna use a few different notes this time. I'm gonna use uh, maybe these ones down here. Aren't messaging you when you're doing your, using your backing track. Okay, so I'm using a few more notes now. Okay, so other things you can do, uh, you might want to try. Um, Literally just playing the scale up and down over the over the backing track like this. Um, with that, from there, a good thing to do would be to maybe uh, play the scale and then change direction at some point. So you might want to go. but I'm changing direction at various points. All right. Okay, so, um, so that's, that's one thing you can do. I was using the G minor pentatonic for that one. Um, you might want to, if you consider yourself more of a beginner, um, you might want to try and find an E minor um, backing track. I'll put, I'll put one in the description for you. Uh, e minor blues backing track. Um, probably getting ahead of it at the start, but let's see. Um, musician is the best yeah. way to learn, practice, and master the guitar. Just grab your acoustic Don't use musician. Use these tutorials are much better. Okay. So with the E minor back, um, pentatonic. You can use that open position. Okay, which is a bit easier because you don't have, have quite as good dexterity. So obviously it's good to do both. So what you might want to do um, with the E minor, it's because you got used to the open notes. Just a reminder of the E minor, we've got um, 
open three, open two, open two, open two, open three, open three, like that. And the blue note, as we discussed before, will be on the first fret. And uh, first fret on the A, and the third fret on the G, like that. Now, because you've got all those open notes that you can use, you can do things like um, hammer on some pull offs. Okay, so what I'm doing there, literally plucking the string and then hammering on afterwards. So you, uh, you get the idea. So um, again, go back uh, and look at the scales if you haven't already. Okay, so make sure that you know the E minor pentatonic, the G minor pentatonic scales off by heart and you're able to add that blue note as we call it. Um, I will put a link to, those, to the tabs for those as well in the description uh, down below. Um, as I said, if there's anything you're struggling with and uh, if you want to have a private lesson with me, then please send me an email. Uh, or contact Mr. Cardi, get my email. I will leave it in the, in the description down below. Um, and yeah, and then we can sort of make it a bit more sort of focused and sort of bespoke for what you would like to be learning. All right, stay safe, guys. See you soon.